Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 Blueprints video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've been putting together this little site here. We actually built it using the Blueprint software from Bootstrapter. Just threw this little site together with sections in about 5 minutes. Unbelievably useful piece of software. And you can download it from a link below this video. And also there's an 80% off coupon down below this video as well for this software. So we created this template here. Now we've been styling it to make it our own. We did our hero section and our info sections. Last time we did this video section. We put in a little carousel here. So let's start editing this. Uh, we're going to do the usual thing. I'll get some images of 475 by 500 and we'll put them in there. We know how to change all the text, but what we're going to do, we're going to adjust the height of this section. We know how to change background colors and everything, but to my eye, this section is a lot bigger than I actually need it. So when we created this and output the file from our blueprints, we output it to a folder. There it is, the index.html, which is what we're looking at, the website right there. And we've just been adding any images that we want to use in this root folder itself here. So what I'll do is I'll pause, I'll just add a few more images and we'll place them in here. Okay, well I've added some images there, I've called them T1 through T5. And I made them 475 by 500 as the guide said there. Now we need to actually insert them into the site. Now here's the index.html file that we output from our blueprints. We need to open it with a text editor. If you don't have one, you can download one free from below this video. It's called Brackets. It's absolutely awesome. That's what I'm using. But any text editor will do. Let's go down to where we want to work, which is just under our video section. Here's the video section as you can see. And with brackets, if you highlight an opening section tag or a div tag, it'll highlight the closing one for you, which is really useful. So we know this is opening and closing of the video section. So this must be the carousel section right underneath it, which it is. Okay, let's firstly put our images in there. And each of these carousels I like the opener. If we look down, here's the image that they've got in there, the placeholder itself. So all we need to do is go in there and remember we called our images T1 through T5, I believe it was, and they're JPEGs. JPEG. So I'm just going to go through. And as soon as I write T in there, it should find them in our root folder. There it is, T1. Going to do the same thing for the next one. T2. That's it by the looks of things, unless I've missed one. Save that, Control S to save, or you can go up to File and hit Save back to the site. Let's refresh and we should have our images in there now. There's one, two, three. That should be it. Back to the top again. And we know how to change all the text. I'll just go over that briefly for anybody that didn't watch the first videos. Highlighted in white here with the brackets between H1 and the P tags is your text. All that white there. Just change it to whatever you want it to say. Type it in like any text editor. Save that. Control S. Back to the site. Refresh. And let's go to the one that I changed. There it is right there. Very easy. Okay, so what we wanted to really do today is change the height of this thing. To me, it's too tall. I really only want it a little bit, bit of space above and below the image. Too much sort of gray space there. If 
we look at our brackets text file here, we've got on the inline style, we've got minimum height of 100 VH. That's 100% of the viewable height. That's why it's full screen here. So if we go in there and we change those to 60 VH, perhaps that will be 60%. That'll probably work for me. But if we look down below, we've got to change it in several different places, like the actual carousel itself. It's got it right here. So I need to change it there. Or else if I miss one of these, it'll jump from 60 VH to 100 VH as it slides through to the next one. And I'm just pasting this in anywhere I see 100 VH just on these slides here. That should do it. Control S to save. Let's refresh and hopefully this should be a lot skinnier now. Okay, I've obviously missed one. Let's go see where that is. 60, 60, 60. Ah, oh, there we are. Right there. Save that now, control S. There we go, and it's 60% now. If we sit, look at this, put it up to the top there, it's sort of 60% of our viewable area or viewable height there. So there you have it. There's how to change the height of a fixed height section, add images, and edit the blueprints. I hope you found that useful. Like I say, you can download the Blueprint software from a link below this video with an 80% discount. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.